The task list is an important method of communication between providers and staff regarding individual patients and daily workflow. The task list can be assessed using the top toolbar. It is important to recognize that the task list is not an email function and that communication outside of patient information is best performed through the Outlook program, which can be accessed through the Exchange email tab. Opening the task list will take you to the default of My Active Task, which is designated to you at sign-on. The top toolbar will allow you to sort the various tasks based on the type of task, the patient, who it is assigned to, whether this was created by an individual or was a system created task such as finishing a note, signing a note, or verifying results. Created on will give you the most recent uh, task that was created. If you single click, you will see the blue-green arrow will demonstrate that these are primarily sorted by created on. A second click will take you to the oldest task and then another click will bring you back to the most recent task. The Do tab will allow you to look at tabs that have uh, need further uh, action because of the designated uh, overdue uh, date. To create a new task, you will go to the lower right-hand corner, choose New. In this case, the patient Ashley Allscripts is, um, has been highlighted. The user will be the designated individual. The type of task will be either miscellaneous, callback, document appointment, or follow-up. If the designated user is not to, in the drop-down list, you can choose all and search for the appropriate user. Information can then be entered. You can change the activation of the task to a later date. In this case, the default will be the present time. You can choose any date into the future. You can also change when this task becomes overdue. If you would like to be notified when a task is complete, you would choose complete task. If you would like to be notified when the task is overdue, you would choose overdue. If you would like this task reassigned to another individual or a team that has been pre-designated for you, you can choose that at this time. You can also change the status of the uh, task. To reply to a task, you would highlight the task that you desire to reply to and you would choose reply in the lower right hand corner. Enter the appropriate response and complete the action. Once a task is completed and you need to remove it from the active list, you would choose done in the left lower quadrant. Tasks can also be reassigned to other individuals by choosing the reassign tab in the lower right hand corner. A task can also be copied to a clinical note by choosing the Copy to Note tab.